All right, hi guys. Today I'm going to take you through how to create this sort of standard light tent that is used often in e-commerce products um, in basic sort of small product photography. Um, so I'm looking at these reference images. I'm going to use this as the basis of what I'm going to create. So I'm looking at these sides of the walls and it's all got this sort of full lighting, diffused soft light all around. And it's got a sort of base and a background that's uh, that's just a, a light material. Every All of these e-commerce products, they seem to be on white backgrounds, all light backgrounds, or they're cut out of the background and all enveloped in a sort of a box thing. So let's see if we can recreate that in Cinema 4D. So I've got my objects. Um, this just opened up a new, pro a new uh, page, but I've dropped these products in. I'll show you where I got these from. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but if you get the same products as I did, you might just want to drop the scale down. I'm trying to work in a real scale. So 0 0.05 in uh, every scale will do that for these objects. But if you're not using those, you can just use a sphere and drop the scale right down to maybe say 10 centimeters and then move it up or likewise maybe select a cylinder similar maybe you know make it 10 centimeters maybe the height 20 put a fillet on it bring that right down so it looks like a tube or something similar so you're, you're working with something that uh you can see the light react to it just like that but i'm going to use my product so let me delete that so First things first, I'm going to set up Octane. Um, always takes a second to load when it's on my system. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is select these three bars there, drag it over so I've got a window. And I'm going to set up my uh, Octane settings. I'm going to change it to path tracing, samples 2048 and geo clamp of eight. I'm going to refresh that window. Looking good. I am now going to set up my uh, scene settings. Width of 1080, height of 1350. So I'm making this a portrait mode photo and select Octane Render there. And I'm just going to drag this window so I see the top and bottom of my frame. And then we're all good. So let's set up this uh, the objects and the structure. So I'm going to drop in a cube. Cube comes in way too big. I'm going to make that 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters square. That looks good. I'm going to get a subdivision surface. I'm going to drop the cube into the subdivision. I'm going to turn on my line so I can see what is happening. I'm going to move the segments to three in every angle. Then I'm going to press, um, and then I move it up because I want the bottom of the cube to be on ground level. Looking good. I'm going to press C on that, or you can click over here to make it editable. Get my selection, choose polygons, and now I can just hold down Shift and then select each of these because I'm just going to delete the face of that. And now we've got smooth surfaces, all sides. It's our light tent right there. Um, I'm going to middle click. Um, so I'm going to get my selection tool, go back onto object, middle click in the window, get me to four different windows. I'm going to come across, middle click on this side window, go and get my pen tool, make snapping on. So press that and make sure you've got work plane snap on. And I'm going to make a little sort of ground and background uh, for myself here. So let me, it's going to snap to the grid, pull on an angle, snap to a ground plane, should snap to the surface or a ground plane, but I'll snap uh, there and pull across. And then maybe he here or we'll grab that and it should snap and click on there again. I think I didn't snap there. So let me click it again and then press spacebar 
to finish. So I've middle clicked again, uh, come back into my perspective view, and select object mode again. Uh, and this spline now that I've got, I'm going to make that into an extruded shape. So click the extrude up here, drop that spline into it, select the extrude, come across to object. I don't want it extruding in that axis. I want it on the X axis. Let's make it about the same size as my light tent, 60, and let's move it over minus 30. So it's in the middle. So now you can see what we've got. And you can see the ground is slightly below the tent and I want it above. So let's go get a bit more precision on that. I'm gonna select my extrude, um, select this window. Another way to do that is this button up there. I'm gonna zoom right in. And maybe instead of Instead of uh, changing the extrude, I'm going to move the cube down slightly. So let's take this to 29.5, say. So that you see that's dropped it down slightly. And we come across to here, and I think now they're all the same color, so it's hard to tell, but you can see that it's intersecting and going down under. And we can fix that later if it's still in the wrong position. But that's basically our setup right there. So now let's get some lighting happening. So let's say I've got this default white background happening. So I want to get in an object, HDRI environment, everything goes black because there's no uh, image in there. I want that. I want to take the power right down to zero to make sure that we our whole studio is black. Then I'm going to get a material, diffuse material, let's double click on that, click node editor, and then expand this so I can see black body emission. And I'm gonna connect that to the emission. I'm gonna drag that across to our, what is it, our cube. So we can see it's affected there, uh, but there's a few things. So let's select a black body, uh, come and, select this left shader up here. And that's gonna put in a few default things for us. I'm gonna select surface brightness, double-sided. Now you can see both sides of the polygons are affected by this. And it's usually, Octane uh, is usually pretty bluish daylight. I'm gonna change it to 56, uh, 5600 Kelvin temperature. Um, and the power I'm going to take right down to 15, say. I think that's all I'm going to do there. Let me set up a camera, objects, camera, I'm going to select that camera. Um, I'm going to zero out all these. If you hold down Option and right click these arrows here, it zeroes everything out. I'm going to make this Y coordinate 10 and minus 60 on the ZZ coordinate. And usually with this type of photography, um, photographers like to use a long, a longer lens. So let's change this from to portrait 80 mil lens. And bam, there we, there we have a nice uh, neutral setup. I'm just going to come out of my camera and add one more thing to this, which is a light, area light. I'm going to come across, zoom in. I'm going to drag that area light to the front. And it's all black because it's right in front of our camera. Visibility, camera visibility is off. Uh, I'm going to come to my light. Uh, I'm going to do two things similar to what I did to the material. I'm going to select that for my light shader. Sorry, that defaults it back and puts the visibility back on. I'm going to turn it off. Come to my light setting now and change this to say 50. 
takes it down. And then also 56, 5,600 Kelvin temperature. Okay, now if I come back into my camera, all good, but we can see it is very bright. We want that sort of all enveloping brightness, but what we don't want is the highlights blowing out so much. So if we come across uh, to the Octane settings, camera imager, let's change this highlight compression and let's pull it right up to one. That just takes the highlights sort of like levels in Photoshop and brings them right back so they're not blowing out. And that's it. That is our nice, soft uh, light tent, light box uh, shader we've got going on. That is it. Thanks, guys. Uh, and if we turn off the front light, you know, that might be a look we prefer. Uh, and we can bump up the surroundings. And then also, if you turn off the extrude and you have a uh, an image that's meant to be floating, this sort of more of a light box with light coming from the bottom might be a look you prefer to go with as well. But that is it for this tutorial. And I hope you uh, learned something and it helps you get up and running pretty quickly. If you don't have the um, time or will to, you know, to have done all that, uh, I've got a, uh, I'll put this as a scene file uh, that you can download somewhere and I'll put that link in the description as well. Uh, and thanks a lot guys, um, see you later, bye.